So let's get started with drawing our little cartoon character. Um, now I'm going to start off by drawing the face and I'm going to be using shapes for the majority of this cartoon. So I'm going to start off with an oval shape and I'm just going to click, drag and give it a kind of egg shape and that's the basis of my head. Now I don't want it to be grey and I don't want it to have that dark outline so I'm going to set the outline to transparent and for the skin colour I'm going to just go to custom and I'm going to choose a suitable colour for the skin and um, you might you know, want to experiment with a colour that you find appropriate. And now I'm going to add some eyes. Um, I'm just going to zoom in. So I'm going to click on my zoom tool and I'm going to drag a box around that head so it's a bit easier to work. And I'm going to go back to my circle tool and I'm going to draw on uh, another um, oval shape. Set this one to a white fill with a transparent background. It might be a little bit big, so I can make it a bit smaller. And I'm now going to duplicate this. Um, now I could do um, a copy and paste, but on my keyboard, a, a shortcut for duplicate is on a Mac, Command and D, or on a Chromebook or PC, it's Control and D. So if I press those keys, I'll get a copy of that shape and I could place them just side by side or maybe even just slightly overlapping for a bit of a cartoon effect. Now it looks a bit weird without any pupils, so let's draw another oval in the middle and I'm gonna zoom right in on this actually. Oops, let me do my zoom. Here we go. And I'm going to select that pupil shape. I don't want it to have a, an outline and I want it to be black and I'm going to drag it and you'll notice that Google Slides gives you these little um, guides when you drag which is really helpful to place things exactly in the center and I'm going to do another Command and D or Control and D to duplicate that and place it in the center of the other eye. So now if I zoom out I've got my two eyes and a face. Now those eyes are really single objects in real life. You know, I've got, they're two different shapes in Google Slides, but really they are one object, it's an eye. So what I want to do is actually group these together. So I'm gonna click on the pupil, I'm gonna hold the shift key on my keyboard and click on the outer eye. And I've now got both selected and I'm going to right click and I'm going to group those together. And I'm going to do the same with my other eye. So click on the pupil, click on the outer eye, right click, group together. Right, let's draw a nose and a mouth. So for this I'm going to use under, you've probably got this line tool here, uh, but if you click the drop down arrow you're going to want to choose the scribble tool. And for a nose I'm just going to do a little sort of curve like that. Now Google Slides always corrects what you draw to a, a sort of a smoothed out approximation. So if it's not quite right just erase it and do another one you might have to exaggerate your shape a little bit. Uh, and then you can change the color of that if you want to. So I'm gonna make mine black. And to draw a mouth, it's very similar. We just need to grab that scribble tool again, draw a mouth shape, and you can kind of resize it, reshape it, and move it around as you want to. Okay, so if I zoom out now, uh, let me zoom to fit. I've got a nose, mouth, the outside of the head, and my eyes and actually the whole thing is a head so I'm going to want to group them together so I'm going to click outside I'm going to drag a bounding box which selects everything right click group and now I've got a head object that I can move around I can resize um, and I can get you know that will be very useful when I'm doing my animation later All right let's do um, some hair for this guy so for the hair, I'm just going to zoom in again, there we go. Now for the hair, I'm going to use a curve tool and I'm just going to start down here and I'm just going to draw a kind of, uh, I'm just going to click a point and I'm going to click and, and you basically just need to keep clicking. So click, click and I'm just going to draw a kind of shaggy kind of outline because hair is kind of rough. So all I'm doing is I'm not doing any dragging, I'm just click, move to the next place, click, move to the next place. And I'm gonna do that all the way around the outside as well. Give him a little bit of a kind of 
kind of quiff if we want. Okay, now notice as I'm getting towards the end, if I just move my mouse slightly towards the other point, eventually a point comes at which Google Slides will match the start and end points together. And if you click there, it joins the whole thing up, and hurrah, I've got some hair. And I can leave him as gray haired if I want to. Let's zoom out, see what that looks like. Not bad. Uh, but I could also give some color to this. So I could choose maybe a brown color, sort of a ready brown. I could go uh, kind of blonde. Uh, it's really up to you what color you choose. Um, so have a bit of fun, design your character to have whatever hair color you want. Once you've drawn your hair, our, our face object and our hair are still separate objects. So let's click, drag that bounding box, right click, group, and now they are joined together. So now we're going to do um, the body. So for the body, I'm going to go back to a simple oval shape and I'm just going to draw uh, a big oval and let's, you know, it's going to be a very simple design. Let's just give him like a blue t-shirt kind of thing. Um, now, this chest is now sticking above his chin, which is quite unusual. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go order, send to back. And now it goes behind his head. And I want to draw um, some arms for this guy. So again, I'm going to go to my oval and I'm just going to draw some sort of, yeah, little arm kind of shape. And I'm going to rotate it slightly and place it in there. Now, to get the exact same formatting as this one, I'm going to show you a little trick now. If you click the shape that has the formatting style that you like, click on it and then choose this little uh, paint roller, which is a paint format, and then click on the shape you want to apply it to, and hey presto, it takes the formatting on of the original shape. So I can now use this rotation tool again, just get that in the right place, and I can put a little hand down here. So let's go for another oval, and as the basis of my hand, I'm gonna use my skin color from my head, so I'm gonna click on the, I click on the head group, click again, to select the inner group, um, sorry, to select the inner shape, which is his uh, face. Click the format button, click on the hand, and it takes uh, it takes that across. Now let's click on the hand, hold shift, click on the arm, and group them. And now let's do Command D or Control D to duplicate, and I get another arm, and I can rotate that round onto this side. So let's rotate. That rotates the whole shape, by the way, uh, including the hand. Uh, but if I want to, I could individually now just click into that shape to move the hand a little bit, rotate that hand, and so on. Okay, so I've got uh, arms, hands. Let's give him some trousers and some feet. So again, I'm going to use the ovals, and uh, I'm just going to give him some nice uh, dark dark blue trousers, okay, uh, and I'm going to duplicate that, put it next to the other one, I'm going to put them both, I'm going to set them both, right click, order, center back, so they go behind his, uh, his sort of stomach, and I'm going to put some shoes on here, so let's go shapes, let's make another oval kind of shape, and let's give him some nice bright red shoes, Something really cool, Ooh, maybe a bit darker. And I'm going to Command D, duplicate that, put another foot there. And again, I'm just going to click on the foot and its related leg, and I'm going to group and do the same on this one foot, leg, group. Now, when you group things, they automatically become the uh, thing at the front, the front layer. So again, I have to right click on that new group, and I have to go order send to back and order and send to back and there we go i've now drawn my little cartoon character i've got his head which i can move around if i want to i've got arms i've got legs and yes it's a simple design um, you might choose to make yours a little bit differently but that's how you can draw a simple cartoon character in google slides